Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. He is being welcomed by the Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Rodolfo Santos Azurin Jr., for the four-year honors.
Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, we are celebrating the 121st police service anniversary with this year's theme, Matibay na Ugnayan ng Pulisya at Mamamayan Tungo sa Pagkakaisa, Kapayapaan at Kaunlaran here at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Magsitayo po tayong lahat para sa pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Please remain standing for the interfaith prayer to be delivered by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, Director of the Chaplain Service, Police Lieutenant Colonel Al Kabir Pandi, Assistant Chief, Pastoral and Outreach Division, and Police Captain Fulhenzo Canyon Jr., Officer in Charge, Evangelical Base Chaplain. Let us bow our heads and recognize the loving presence of God. Let us pray. Almighty Father, every year you give us an occasion of the notable event in our lives, an occasion that reminds us of our unwavering commitment to the service. With so much gratitude in our hearts, we offer to you our highest praise and thanksgiving as we celebrate the 121st Police Service Anniversary. On this special day, we ask you, Lord, to sanctify into your most gracious heart our beloved President, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. We humbly pray that you continue to anoint him with wisdom, courage, and strength from on high so that with him, the PNP organization and the entire country will march forward with dignity, honor, and pride. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Almighty God, we offer to you this significant gathering as we direct our thoughts and actions to find favor in you. In the company of the Internation, we, the men and women of the police service, headed by our Chief PNP, Police General Rodolfo S. Azurin Jr., will constantly glorify the wonders of your divine interventions and providence. Merciful Father, we fervently pray that you shower forth the abundance of your blessings upon the entire PNP organization, while we commend to your sustaining grace 
all the awardees whom we acknowledge for their commendable performances and devotion to duty. And thou us, Lord, with your strength, as we fulfill our mandate to serve and protect your people without fear or favor. Grant, Grant all that we humbly ask and fervently pray for the betterment of our service in the glory of your heavenly kingdom. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us hear the welcome remarks of Police General Rodolfo S. Azurin, Jr., Chief Philippine National Police. His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr., sir, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, and our guest of honor and speaker today, Attorney Victor D. Rodriguez, the Executive Secretary, Attorney Benjamin C. Abalos, Jr., the Secretary of the Department of the Interior and Local Government, the members of the PNP Command Group, IG, IAS, and other key personnel, other Cabinet Secretaries, Head of the other Government Agencies, the PNP Council of Elders, Heads of the other Military and Uniform Service and the Representatives, NAPOLCOM Commissioner, Foreign Police Attaché based in Manila, our Speaker of the House, Speaker Martin Romaldez, sir. Other Police Commission Officers, Police Non-Commission Officers, and Non-Uniform Personnel, Stakeholders composing the Kasimbayanan, and partners from various advocacy support groups and sector of the community, our friends from the media, other distinguished guests who are joining us today, either physically or via Zoom, video conferencing platform, and to my family, good morning, sirs and madam. It is with great sense of pride and honor that I welcome everyone as we commemorate our 121st Police Service Anniversary. A famous adage once said, and I quote, there can be neither today without yesterday, nor tomorrow without today. This day marks yet another shining chapter in the PNP's rich and colorful history of public service. As we celebrate the 121 years of dedicated, credible, and heroic police service to the Filipino people and our country. From humble beginnings as the country's first insular police force at the turn of the 19th century on August 8, 1901, the police service has been through all the milestones, highlights, and low points in Philippine history. Through the years, I can confidently say that we have ably delivered more than the goals we have set. True to our solemn oath to serve and protect the Filipino people and upholding the sanctity of the Philippine Constitution. Our collective dedication and focus enabled us to strengthen peace and security and promote public order and safety where it mattered the most, at the grassroots where quality police service is most needed by the Filipino people. The PNP's operational and administrative accomplishments show that every police office and unit have, have effectively carried out the task that significantly contributed to the overall peace and order situation in the country. We implemented even more strongly our enhanced managing police operations programs against criminality and introduced the PNP campaign plan double barrel Finale version 2022, also known as Anti-Illegal Drugs Operation to Reinforcement and Education. Much has been done over the past months in addressing the peace and order aspect of police operations, not to mention the arduous task of enforcing minimum standards and public health protocols amidst our continued protracted battle against COVID-19 pandemic. Controlling radicalism and violent extremism 
fueled by a growing discontentment among disgruntled elements or threat groups is indeed a major security concern. Hence, various anti-criminality campaign plans against communists, terrorist groups, private armed groups, and most wanted persons among others were implemented to sustain the reduction of crimes categorized in our peace and order indicator to support and strengthen the encompassing whole of nation approach of the national task force. The area police commands were also strengthened and empowered by placing the regional and provincial mobile forces under its operational control. Likewise, the peace agenda through nationwide implementation of Executive Order No. 70 of our government task force posted significant gains in our tireless pursuit of ending armed conflict brought by the continuing threats of terrorism and insurgency. Moreover, our operational undertakings in the campaign against illegal drugs, illegal gambling, most wanted persons, and simultaneous anti-criminality law enforcement operations achieve encouraging and fruitful results while remaining faithfully compliant to the requirements of due process, human rights, and the rule of law. Further, after ensuring the most peaceful, secured, accurate, and fair national and local elections that donned a shining chapter in the nation's history, our collective efforts as one PNP family likewise sustained the gains and momentum of ensuring safe and secure state of the nation address of His Excellency Ferdinand Romaldes Marcos, Jr. Truly, we have gone so far. Ang ating tema ngayong taon na pinamagatang, matibay na ugnayan ng pulisya at mamamayan tungo sa pagkakaisa, kapayapaan at kaunlaran ay sumasal ilalim ay sumasalamin sa natatanging adhikain ng pagkakaisa at palakasin ang partisipasyon ng komunidad sa pagpapanatili ng kapayapaan at kaayusan sa ating bansa. All over the country, noteworthy projects and activities have been completed and most importantly, individual lives and communities were changed for the better. Only because, because we choose the path of dialogue, mutual trust, and shared responsibility. Thus, let me also take this opportunity to express our sincerest gratitude and appreciation to our cherished partners in different communities and religious sectors, as well as our very supportive stakeholders from different sectors. Indeed, your timely counsel and reminders help the PNP to re-examine itself. With your support, we in the PNP can do more in this noble cause. Despite the many challenges we are currently facing, let us remain steadfast to the realization of a better PNP that will serve the best interests of the Filipino people and our country. As we celebrate this auspicious day, we also honor and pay tribute to our fallen police officers, our unsung heroes, whose legacy, exceptional dedication to duty, selfless service, and unconditional love and sacrifices for our country and countrymen are forever etched in the colorful history of the PNP. We are here to manifest the nation's enduring gratefulness and carry on the ideals they cherish. In the months and years ahead, and in the final tradition of service, honor, and justice, let us strive to be the catalyst of good governance, excellence, professionalism, and integrity, ever staying faithful and loyal to the Constitution, the Philippine flag, and the duly constituted authorities in dispensing our law enforcement and public safety duty. On our 121st year, the greater challenge ahead for the police service 
is to sustain the gains of our hard-won democracy and measure up with the national strategic direction set by President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. that aims to secure food and energy sufficiency, inclusive growth, sustainable development, education, and public health for the country, founded on peace and unity. It will also be a year of continuing change for the organization as we remain resolute in improving police work and capabilities and cleansing our ranks of misfits and iskalawags. Guided by the peace and security framework, dubbed Malasakit Kaayusan Kapayapaan, Tungo sa Kaunlaran, or simply put, MKK equals K, let us continue to stand in solidarity as we work together for the full realization of the government's aspiration of a safer, peaceful, more progressive, and stronger, stronger equitable society. Once again, I welcome you all to this 121st Police Service Anniversary. May God bless us all. Mabuhay ang pambansang pulisya ng Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang sambay ng Pilipino. Thank you very much, sir. At this point, we would like to request everyone to focus your attention on the screen and let us watch the brief history and milestone of the Philippine National Police in an audiovisual presentation. For over a century and two decades, the Philippine National Police remains steadfast and resilient in upholding its mandate towards enforcing the law, preventing and controlling crimes, maintaining peace and order, and ensuring public safety and internal security in the country. Committed to bringing a highly proficient and holistic police service, PNP continues to cope with the ever-changing demands of the present time and the needs of the country by introducing initiatives, honing activities to best practices, and implementing policies to better serve and protect the Filipino people. With much to do and keeping in sync with the times, PNP likewise equips its personnel continuously with needed skills on solid professional values and ethical principles towards a competent police force leaving its motto to serve and protect. The Philippine National Police traces its roots to the establishment of its predecessor on August 8, 1901, the Philippine Constabulary, created pursuant to Organic Act 175 for the purpose of better maintaining peace, law, and order in the provinces of the Philippine Archipelago. It was later renamed to Philippine Constabulary Integrated National Police on August 8, 1975, by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 765. PCINP comprises the fragmented and diverse local police units integrated into a national police force with the Philippine Constabulary as its nucleus. Later on, it became the Philippine National Police pursuant to Republic Act No. 6975, entitled An Act Establishing the Philippine National Police under a reorganized Department of the Interior and Local Government with the administrative and operational supervision of the National Police Commission, national in scope and civilian in character. Through the years, the Philippine National Police remains persistent with its battle against criminality, consistently arresting large numbers of most wanted individuals across the country, which resulted in an increasing percentage of the Crime Clearance Efficiency Index and a significant decrease in the National Index Crime Rate. Anti-illegal drug operations were also intensified in all regional offices, 
which led to the arrest and or neutralization of big-time drug personalities and successful confiscation of billions of illegal drugs, as well as the destruction of thousands of drug dens in different cities and municipalities. Moreover, the Philippine National Police intensified its internal cleansing policy to maintain dignified personnel free from corruption and other forms of irregularity through the conduct of intelligence build-up and law enforcement operations against PNP personnel involved in illegal activities. The Philippine National Police, 121 years of upholding credible police service, envisions its personnel to be capable and effective public servants working in partnership with a responsive community towards the attainment of a safer place to live, work, and do business. This year's 121st Police Service Anniversary theme of the nation's peacekeeper, matibay na ugnayan ng pulisya at mamamayan tungo sa pagkakaisa, kapayapaan, at kaunlaran, its commitment to serve in the highest form of public service. The Philippine National Police continues to stand dedicated and impartial to its sworn duty founded on its philosophies of service, honor, and justice. With the aid of the Almighty God, the Philippine National Police strives to be true to its mandate and implementing its core values, makajos, makabayan, makatao, and makakalikasan. With the oath to give the highest form of public service, the Philippine National Police will never cease to fight for what is right and what is appropriate in accordance with the law as it serves and protects the country and its people, forging strong relations with the community towards unity, peace, and development. Sa pangarap na maging maunlaan ng ating bansa, ang pangarap nyo ay pangarap ko. Thank you very much. We will come to the presentation of awards to PMP personnel and units for outstanding services they have rendered. We would like to request the awardees to rise and move forward. To present the awards is His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. And the President will be assisted by Attorney Benjamin Abalas Jr., Secretary of the Interior and Local Government, and Police General Rodolfo Santos Azurin Jr., Chief Philippine National Police. For the individual awardees who will receive a medal and a trophy. Best Senior Police Commission Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Colonel Renel Sabaldica, Police Regional Office 2. A trophy is also presented. Thank you very much. Best Senior Police Commission Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Colonel Alberto Lupas of Police Regional Office 11. A trophy is also presented. Thank you very much. Best Junior Police Commission Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Lieutenant Colonel Antonio Benitez Jr. of Police Regional Office 6. A trophy is also presented.
Thank you very much. Best Junior Police Commission Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Lieutenant Colonel Efraim Paguyod of Police Regional Office 7. A trophy is likewise presented. Thank you very much. Best Senior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Chief Master Sergeant I.V. Florento of Police Regional Office 4A. A trophy is also presented. Thank you very much. Best Senior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Senior Master Sergeant Ronald Patriana of Police Regional Office 10. A trophy is likewise presented. Thank you very much. Best Junior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Administration is awarded to Police Staff Sergeant Isa Joy Padilla of Police Regional Office 6. A trophy is likewise presented. Thank you very much. Best Junior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Staff Sergeant Arnel Abenoha of Police Regional Office 2. And a trophy is likewise presented. Thank you very much. Best non-uniform personnel for supervisory level is awarded to NUP Leda Halles of PNP Finance Service. A trophy is likewise presented. Thank you very, very much. Best non-uniform personnel for non-supervisory level is awarded to NUP Mary Jean Banyaga of Police Regional Office Cordillera. And a trophy is likewise presented. Thank you very much. For the unit awardees, we will receive a streamer and unit achievement award. Best Police Regional Office or PRO is awarded to Police Regional Office 5 and the award will be received by the Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Mario Reyes. Thank you very much. Best Provincial Mobile Force Company or PMFC is awarded to First Mountain Province PMFC Police Regional Office Cordillera 
and the award will be received by the Force Commander, Police Lieutenant Colonel Roy Awisan. And the unit, Streamer Award is also presented. Thank you very much. Best City Mobile Force Company or CMFC is awarded to Baguio City Mobile Force Company, Police Regional Office Cordillera. And the award will be received by the Force Commander, Police Lieutenant Colonel Reni Lizardo. And a unit streamer award is also presented. Thank you very much. Best National Operational Support Unit or NOSU is awarded to PNP Intelligence Group and the award will be received by Police Brigadier General Neil B. Alinsangan, Director of PNP Intelligence Group. And a Unit Streamer Award is also presented. Thank you very much. Best National Administrative Support Unit or NASU is awarded to the PNP Finance Service and the award will be received by Police Brigadier General Jose Melencio C. Nartates Jr., Director of PNP Finance Service. And a unit streamer award is also presented. Thank you very much. For the special recognition awardee, in recognition of the invaluable services rendered in his capacity as President of the Philippine Public Safety College or PPSC from April 16, 2014 to June 30, 2022. Plaque of recognition is hereby presented to Police Lieutenant General Ricardo F. De Leon. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all the awardees. A warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. To our presenters, kindly be seated. At this juncture, to introduce our guest of honor and speaker, may we request Attorney Victor Rodriguez, Executive Secretary. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. House Speaker uh, Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, Executive Secretary Victor Rodriguez, Interior and please take your seats. Interior and Local Government Secretary Ben Benjamin Abalos Jr., Secretary of Presidential Management Staff Maria Senaida Angpin. Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Antonio F. Lagdameo, other members of the Cabinet, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First and foremost, allow me to congratulate 
our very own, the Philippine National Police, commanded by Chief PNP Police General Rodolfo Santos Asurin Jr. on its momentous 121st police anniversary. <laughs> the commemoration of the police anniversary is uh, important because we commemorate the historic beginning of organized police service in the country more than a century ago today. And at the same time, we acknowledge the outstanding work of the brave men and women of the PNP who labor tirelessly and to make sure that peace and harmony prevail throughout our country. Not only has the PNP managed to continue its relevance to date, it has also maintained its integrity and moral ascendancy to faithfully perform its mandate to the nation and for our people. I commend all of you for a job well done. A great deal of respect you deserve for your accomplishments. Mabuhay kayong lahat sa ating mga kapulisan. This morning is particularly significant because I stand before this group of law enforcement officers whose sacrifices and service to the Republic remain unrivaled. It is impressive, the selfless acts of bravery and self-sacrifice that you, your families, your men, your troops, and all of those in the, in the armed services serving in the Philippine National Police have gone through and continue to do so, putting your lives on the line as you perform your duties and responsibilities 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The tremendous risks and often unseen danger attached to your line of work are immensely daunting for many, and yet without hesitation, the PNP continues to pursue its calling to serve and to protect others. Aside from maintaining peace and order, which is the most important of all your tasks, you also have to attend to the more traditional duties commonly assigned to our law enforcers, but have become a very large part and important part of your work. Assisting in vehicular traffic, addressing emergency situations, investigating crimes, serving warrants, apprehending law violators, implementing educational outreach programs, introducing and teaching crime prevention and resolution, and many more related endeavors that are specific only to the PNP because the PNP exists within the body politic. You are our front line to the public. To be honest, for the work that you do, I am more than convinced that police service is a calling that not everyone is capable of rendering, as it requires a moral standard that is usually inherent in our being and demands enorm enormous commitment and responsibility that sometimes, admittedly, are difficult to endure. From the birth of the Philippine Police Service in 1901 to date, this institution has gone through many tough challenges along the way as it continues to march forward relentlessly, pursuing safety, security, and peace for everyone to enjoy and relish as we go about our daily lives. As police, as police officers, many of you have manifested the important values that must be inherent in the conduct and execution of your duties. Given the gravity, the seriousness, the difficulty of the responsibility and relative influence that you carry, it is a must that the application of your mandate is firmly grounded on moral principles, integrity, accountability, and honesty to ensure continued public rapport and support from the public for the PNP. For instance, the use of force must always be reasonable, justifiable, and only undertaken when necessary. Execution of authority must be fair. It must be impartial. 
It must be devoid of favoritism and or discrimination, regardless of race, gender, socioeconomic status, political affiliation, religious belief, and the like. It is only then that you can effectively sustain with great respect and wide support the authority that you possess as uniformed servicemen of the Republic. This is what I consider good governance, and I am proud to say that you have done well and continue to do so in this regard. You have proven you are worthy of the uniform that you sport and the office that you represent, especially during these terrible times when disorder and lawlessness occurs anytime because of many other serious concerns in our society. Many, most in fact, not of our doing, but they are what currently confront us. Against this backdrop, I would like to uh, convey uh, my sincerest appreciation to the newly installed 28th Chief of the Philippine National Police, Lieutenant General Rodolfo Santos Azurin Jr., for accepting the challenge to lead the 226,000 strong uniform and non-uniform personnel of the PNP. He is a well-rounded officer, having served in the PNP as commander of both northern and southern Luzon areas. I am confident that we have chosen the right leader in his person to head the PNP so that it continues to evolve, continues to grow, and to develop into a well-balanced institution, effective and capable of steadfastly re rendering faithful service to our sovereign nation and all its citizenry. His leadership will be of great complement to this administration's collective effort towards the complete rebirth and restoration of a brighter, safer, and more prosperous Philippines in the days ahead. This event's theme, matibay na ugnayan ng pulisya at mamamayan tungo sa pagkakaisa, kapayapaan at kaundaran, is a roadmap that you will take as you take the next steps forward. Will our new PNP, uh, PNP chief at the helm, the upgrade of the PNP will be inevitable. And the police force will emer we shall emerge stronger, more accessible, more responsive, more inclusive, more relevant than ever. His program aptly, aptly referred to as the MKK equals K or Malasakit kapayapaan, kaayusan, tungo sa kaunlaran at kasimbayanan will pave the way to this end. Its success would bring forth an even higher vote of confidence in the reliability, dependability, and trustworthiness of the PNP in the eyes of the public. In the previous years, the PNP has proven its seriousness and intent to prevent criminality and solve crimes for peace to reign supreme in our land. In the same breath, I would like to witness the same or an even higher sense of commitment, determination, and cooperation from all now that the new PNP has been installed. Chief PNP, Chief PNP General Asurin's able governance will serve as the impetus that would further develop and strengthen the PNP in its resolve to promote goodwill and harmony in the heart of our motherland. The obstacles in front of you will be difficult. Let us not try to say that they will not. They might be overwhelming at times. They will put your resolve and patience to the test. Baseless and unfair criticism will be forthcoming, and this will come from the center, the left, and the right. Warrant, and these attacks, warranted or not, unfortunately will be relentless. But I know that you are made of sterner stuff. Your strong sense of patriotism and love of country, your bravery and firm commitment to serve. And with the solid support of the vast majority, there is no doubt in my mind that we will overcome and triumph in the end despite all odds. Most definitely, 
Police service in nation building is the most fundamental of prerequisites upon which a healthy future must be firmly anchored. Being the uniformed officers that you are, your role in the preservation of peace and order is pivotal in the outcome of this administration's carefully crafted master plan to bring about meaningful changes in the lives of many, if not all, Filipinos. I enjoin all of you to give it your best, as you always have, without sacrificing your integrity as servants of the people. Let us be united in supporting the PNP leadership and its crusade against those who intend to inflict harm and disorder within our midst. Let us actively engage the public in the collective effort toward maintaining law and order so that we can all enjoy the gains that accompany development and growth. Let us continue to conduct our business with utmost integrity and accountability, and let us not, let us not allow even a hint of dishonesty and abuse to enter into that narrative. You are the vanguards of peace. You are and that you set the example of the kind of leaders that we need to overcome the hindrances of today. As we forge ahead and continue with the journey, I am thankful to know that in this administration, we have the PNP beside us serving as a reliable partner in making sure that the path we'll be walking is conducive to the ultimate transformation we have long been working for and aspiring to. We want to create the prerequisites to provide every Filipino a decent life that every Filipino so fully deserves. And to all the unit and individual awardees, I congratulate you all for the fine service and the recognition that you have gained amongst your peers. I thank you for all your service that you have done in these past few years. And I look forward to your continuing level of excellent service as the time goes on and as we continue in our development programs for our beloved country. So congratulations and more power to you all for the dedicated service that you willingly extend to our nation and to our people, for the sacrifices accompanying your call of duty, for the freedoms that we enjoy and cherish, at muli, maraming salamat sa inyong tapat at walang sawang paglilingkod para sa ating bansa. Ating pagtulungan ang muli ang muling pagbangon at pag-angat ng ating pinakamamahal na Pilipinas. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at marami pong salamat. Thank you very much, sir, for that wonderful and inspiring message. We gladly appreciate your time with us on this occasion. Thank you, sir, and please be seated. And now, the Chief PNP Police General Rodolfo S. Azurin Jr. will present a token to His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and may we request Attorney Benjamin Abalos Jr., Secretary, Department of the Interior and Local Government, to assist in the presentation. The token is a saber, a heavy military sword with curved blade and long cutting edge symbolizing leadership and authority of the commanding officer. Thank you very much, sir. Magsitayo po tayong lahat at atin pong awitin ang PMP lingkod ng bayan.
Please be seated. May we opportunity. As you mentioned, your group, please go up to the stage for picture taking. For the first group, may we request the members of the PNP Command Group. The directors of the Area Police Command, please prepare as our next group. Thank you very much. For the second group, may we request the directors of Area Police Command. The directors of the directorial staff, please prepare for the next group. of the directorial staff. Regional directors of police regional officers, please prepare for the next group. the regional directors of police regional offices. The directors of the national support units, please prepare. Both the administrative and operational. Thank you very much, sir. May we now request the directors of the National Support Units.
Thank you very much. Once again, we would like to thank His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, for gracing this occasion at sa lahat po ng aming naging panauhin ngayong umaga. Magandang umaga po at mabuhay ang Philippine National Police.